morning, coffee lovers. My name's William, and you're watching Camo Coffee Critic. I'm here at Velo Coffee Roasters in Chattanooga, Tennessee. I've been told that this is one of the best places to stop for coffee here and down in Chattanooga. So I'm excited to get through this rustic looking door and check it out. All right, first things first, as always, straight espresso. Give you another look at that presentation there. See how we are on aroma before the shot dies. Ooh, right off the bat, this smells really rich. Oops. Getting a subtle hand of slight nuttiness. I can't place that flavor just by the smell. Let's see how we are. Palette cleanse from the last video. Oh, if I make a face, it's because I bit my tongue a few days ago. So, yeah, I'm dealing with that. Break the crema. Very rich, nutty smell. Let's see. Ooh. <laughs> so, it, so definitely correct on the ridge. Uh, the nuttiness isn't as prominent with the when you sip it, but oh, sorry. Oh. thank you, sweetheart. You have a great yeah, have a good day. Good day. I hope you, I hope definitely yeah, looking forward you. to how it uh, pairs at the end. So let's move on to uh, brewed coffee. All right, next up, Drip Blue Ethiopia Blend. Let's go for aroma before I spill it on my hand. So also a familiar nutty note to it. But as I say in all my videos, nice smooth aroma. Let's see how we are on flavor. Ooh, it's hot. So the flavor is even more smooth, smooth, smoother, more smooth than the aroma. So if you like a nice smooth coffee to start your day, it's just got that subtle nuttiness that the espresso had, but very easy drinking coffee. Highly recommend if you like to drink black coffee or even if you don't. So let's move on to, what was that the last thing? Uh, espresso tonic. Espresso, espresso tonic, on to the last one. All right, last but certainly not least, espresso tonic. So this is the first time I've ever tried anything like this. So you guys are learning and I'm learning. Got some rosemary in there. So I was told, stir it up, pan that down, mix that together with the rosemary. All right. So unlike the straight espresso, I'm not going to go by aroma since it's iced. So let's just sip and see where we are. Oh wow. So that's definitely a flavor experience I've never experienced before, but that is really, really good. You taste the nuttiness of the espresso. The tonic water just kind of, I guess for lack of better words, tames it down to where you get that aromatic, not necessarily bitterness, but it's like bittersweet of the rosemary in there. 
and is, excuse me, truly unique. Let me show you around a little bit and we'll get outside and then I'll tell you guys final impressions. All right, final impressions. Everything was excellent. I am so glad that I stopped by. The espresso tonic is a truly unique experience. If you want a cold drink that's espresso based and just the rosemary and the sweet and the bitterness, I can't describe on this channel just what a delicious experiment, experiment <laughs> experience that it was. Just truly unique. Hear it only here at Velo Coffee Roasters in Chattanooga. As always, my name's William, and this has been Camo Coffee Critic. See you guys in the next video. Bye.